Hi kids, welcome to another edition of Maps, 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 Maps. Okay kids, let's start with a map of the whole world. I will start by drawing North America. Not bad. I will now draw South America. Brazil. I will now draw Europe. Oh. Don't forget. Ireland. And now Asia. And Africa. And finally, the Aussies. Okay, there's a map of the world. Look at the world and see where do you live. Okay, point it out right now. You might even want to shout it out. I live in... Excellent, okay. You've located yourself in the world. Well, let me locate a really interesting part of the world where all the Bible stories come from. That part of the world is, right, here. Okay, let's zoom in on this area because I've got a Bible story that I want to show you with another map. Okay, kids, we've zoomed into this area of the world where a lot of the Bible stories take place, including this story with a man named Paul. It's in the book of Acts. And in this story, Paul is in this area of the world. And he has an extraordinary dream. And in this dream, there is a man who's standing in this area of the world. And the man, in his dreams, is calling to him, saying, please, come over here to this area of the world and tell us about Jesus. And so, when Paul wakes up from this amazing dream, you know what he does, kids? Him and his friends, they go to the coast, they get into a boat, and they sail across to that area of the world to tell them all about Jesus. So they heard from God in a miraculous way, and they followed God's voice, and they went to tell other people the good news. Well, that's amazing, kids, that Paul remembered his dream, and then he followed God's voice. I wish I could remember my dreams sometimes. Do you remember yours? I wish I had a machine that could record those dreams, and then I could play them back later. Actually, I think I do have a machine like that. It's called the Dreaminator 2000. Okay, kids, here it is. It's the Dreaminator 2000. And uh, just gotta make sure it's plugged in the system and uh, set the right time for sleeping and then calibrate accordingly and now it should be able to record my dreams as soon as I fall asleep so kids I'm gonna fall asleep and let's see what I'm dreaming ready Okay, how was that dream? It's all recorded for me here, uploaded to YouTube. Now, let's try it again. Wow, okay, that was quite a dream. Finally, one more. A little extra typing there on the Dreaminator 2000. And go. All right, 
Wow, there are some dreams recorded on the Dreaminator 2000. I love this story, kids, because it reminds me that God does amazing things in our lives. He certainly did in the life of Paul by sharing that incredible dream with him, encouraging him to go and share the good news with other people. Kids, I know that God is going to do extraordinary things in your life as well. In fact, we can learn to listen to God. There's many ways in which he shares his voice with us and how he speaks to us. One of the best ways is to be in his word that's right, as we read the Bible like we did today, we can learn and hear from God himself as he speaks to us through his scriptures. I hope that encourages you today, kids, and I hope that you have tonight wonderful dreams. Now, let's see, one more. Safety first. <laughs>